Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us over here in Bangkok and we're on the Chao Phraya River right here. We're in the Dusit district of Bangkok today. And what we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look at a second class royal temple. That's one of the most beautiful temples you'll see around. It has some fantastic uh, Italian frescoes that are in the ordination hall and it is a real, real treat. I came over here almost two years ago and the roof was leaking, so they had it all scaffolded off. So today we'll be able to see the whole temple building itself. Now this originally was named Wat Sam Orai, and then the King Rama V changed the name to Wat Raja Di Wasi Wee Wee Rehan. I'll put it up on the screen. I'm the worst at saying these names. But anyway, this is an ancient Ayutthaya era temple that uh, was renovated uh, the last time I think was by King Rama V and that's when they changed the name. I think that was like in the like 1800s, 1820 or so. So anyway, let's uh, walk through here and uh, we'll see this beautiful temple today. And this is the area it's in. You can see the Chao Phraya River is very, very high. That's the Rama 8 bridge over there. And then across the way, you can see a temple over that away. There's not much river traffic today. There's a few of uh, the boats all anchored off over there. And this is pretty cool. You got a little lady right here. Check out that little tiny boat. She's paddling along here. <laughs> so uh, let's go in. We got these boats here. I think these might be part of the, like the Royal Procession boats that are anchored off over here. And then we'll go in here. You can see the temple building over there. They have some sandbags here because they're planning on trying to prevent the flooding because the Chao Phraya River has been getting really, really high. This is the temple grounds and there's quite a few buildings. There's the residence of King Rama IV back over there. That is the ordination hall that we'll go into that's got all the murals. And we'll look at a few of the other buildings like this one over here and we'll make our way over there to see the, the beautiful, beautiful mural paintings in there. This building right here, this is the Dharma Hall, or the Sala Karn Piran, and it is a beautiful teakwood building. The temple here says this is the most beautiful teakwood building in all of uh, Southeast Asia. And it's fantastic. This was built by King Rama V. So it's just a little bit over 200 years old, and it is quite nice. It's locked up. They have the Dharma preaching and stuff like that inside of there but not today. I think it may be open on like Tuesdays and Saturdays for a couple hours each time. You can see all of this is just really, really spectacular, really in nice shape. It has the window shutters and the wooden doors. Yeah, I would like to see in there. I've never been inside of that building. We're walking through here and I see this, they got a little canal here. It has all these little turtles and stuff like that. And we'll walk through over to here. There's supposed to be a building over here that has a couple old Buddhas in it. We'll see if we can find it. And this building over here, I think it's called Samdech Parap Ban Pilung. It's the residence. And apparently uh, King Rama V's wife stayed here. And then they have just little shrines and stuff like that. This is an active temple, so there are monks in residence. And then they do a lot of like a Buddhist school here also. And they have just kind of some interesting little things that you'll see, like the meditating monk here. And they've made them into some like little shrines. And there's like a little room down below. I guess you could go in there and meditate if you wanted to. And then right over here, kind of in the monk's area, this is what I wanted to see. So there's these three Buddha images. And the head monk, whenever the eventual head monk here at this temple, when he was just a novice monk, had some business he had to attend to up in Ayutthaya province. And he was going up there for a month and he was walking through a farmer's field and he found these three Buddha images that are from the Lapuri era. So they'll be Khmer style, which is why the main hall is Khmer styled also. So what he did is he asked the farmer if he could take these three Buddha images. And so he did and they brought them over here and they have them in this special little building. Ah, really nice. You can see he's got the Naga shroud around him. Ah, really, really cool. Different styling of what you see because they're the Khmer face. Really cool. And it's just over here in 
this little hall has a little picture of King Rama V and some other stuff. Okay, so let's go into the main hall and we'll see that. And then we'll go over look at where Rama V stayed here, or Rama IV. You can see they have another one of these little shrine things here. Yeah, it's really kind of an interesting temple, that's for sure. And this is what it looks like underneath in this little thing. So they have like little shrines and stuff like that. And I think people have their ashes here and the family come over here and pray. And they can go up there to the chetty also. Okay, let's walk over here. And another little shrine and books and stuff like that with uh, Buddha's manual. So they come over here and they study. And that's just right across the little road over here. The chetty here is fantastic also. And this right here is the highlight of the temple. And you can see the white chetty right behind it. Now they call this the Uposata, which is the main shrine hall. And it is just unbelievably cool on the outside. So what I was saying about the Khmer styling, you can see the Naga and all of that. And it's a bit different color because this is kind of a beige when normally you'll see these buildings will be white. It has the blue tiles up on the top instead of the red. And this was reconstructed by King Rama V in 1820. The hall was kind of down in ruins and he restored it and made it look at what it is now. And this is the front, we'll go in here. Now this is divided up into three rooms. There's like the sitting room when you first come in and then it'll have the middle room with all the murals that was print, painted by one of the princes. Narasara Nuva Tong, I think is his name. Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, so, and then the back room will hold a Buddha image in it from the Sukhothai era that's about 700 years old, I believe. And this is the first room you come to. So it's just kind of a plain room. It has the gold tile, or gold painted uh, ceiling tiles up there. And then it has the normal wooden shutters that you see. Yeah, these are fantastic just themselves. And then you go into the middle part. So they have the relics and stuff in here. And then this is the part you want to come in and see. And the monks here teaching the people about the temple. All right, we'll come back in here in a sec after they're kind of done. Let's look back here in the back room. And this is a bust of the prince that painted all of the murals. And he put them originally in a book and then an Italian artist came over here and painted them on. I believe that's the story. So this is the main Buddha image for the temple. So it's from the Sukhothai era. You can see the differences in the face from the Khmer style we looked at in that small little hall. These are kind of like an egg face. The ears are different, the nose is different, stuff like that. Yeah, really cool. And this is just a plain hall right here. It has the painted window shutters and it has all the odds and ends like little cabinets. These will have the Buddha writing inside of it. And then they have a little shrine here so the locals will come over and burn the Joe sticks and pray. And then another cabinet. And then over here, these will be all the monk fans and stuff like that. Yeah, really nice. And then check out this clock, all that mother of pearl and some the painted window shutters. Okay, so they're all done here. Let's look at these beautiful murals. Now this Buddha image right here is Pra Sam Buddha Pani, and this was installed at this temple by King Rama V. It was in honor of his father, King Rama IV. The one that was originally in here was moved to the Grand Palace by Rama IV when he became king. Now the name of this temple means the temple of the king's residence because five kings have stayed here. You see the up there, that is Rama 1. The little Garuda looking one is Rama 2. This is Rama 3, the little house looking like the little uh, temple building. And then over here, this is Rama 4. And then this elephant right here, this is Rama 5. That's their royal seals. And they all have stayed at this temple. So it has a lot of meaning to the ties because it's the current reigning dynasty. And then these murals are just unbelievable. So when you're here, you're walking around, you see this elephant, and it's as if the eyes follow you. It's got some really cool things in here. But these paintings are just absolutely beautiful. The same here, this elephant eyes kind of follow you along. 
and there's the different panels here. There's quite a few of them, and the condition of them is just absolutely perfect. Let's just give you an idea of how spectacular these are. Now, these were designed by that prince, and then it was painted by an Italian artist. Riccoli, I think, is his name. So these are here from the 1820s. You can see they're just starting to flake off a little bit up there, which is a shame, but it's what happens in here in these halls. The groundwater seeps in and causes these, like the plaster to flake off. Uh, these are just absolutely beautiful. So this right here is definitely the highlight of why you would want to come into this temple. The camera won't do it justice. These are just absolutely masterpieces here on the walls. And they even painted stuff up above the windows like that. You got like the, like the chickens, like the fighting chickens, just various things. And one last look here at the Buddha image. And then the Buddha up there. And then the other scenes of the Jataka. Yeah, and this is active, so you can come in here. The monks will talk to you. Last time I came, they showed me an old book which was pretty cool. But uh, yeah, you can get the blessings and pray and stuff like that. And it is a royal temple, so it has the three doors. Okay, let's go look at the residence of the king that's back over here in the corner. This is what the back of the temple building looks like. Uh, it's unbelievably nice. And it has a couple small little like bell towers right here. And then the main chetty is right behind that. And it has the Khmer style lions all around the base. And then it has the seated Buddha up there along with the bell. And it is also just absolutely beautiful. And then you can see the little building that's right behind the chetty. It has four little nooks for the Buddha images in the cardinal directions. And these lions are just really, really cool. I was hoping to be able to look in here, but this little shrine building is locked up. Let's see, look through the, the door here. And it's looking through the shutter. You can see the, the image in there, but we can't look at it because it's padlocked up. Okay, let's go look at the last thing here. This is the residence of Rama IV, which is right over here. And over here, this is like a little memorial, like a museum that's right here on the side of this. And check this out. This is really, really cool. They have the like the flat stones, like the granite stones here. And then inside will be a little shrine. So here is the inside of this little building. So you have this three monks. So you must these must have been monks that were important here at this temple. And then they have the floral paintings all around. Yeah, these stones are quite cool how it's constructed. And then right here is the drum tower right next to this. It looks like a European castle. And then this is the residence where King Rama IV stayed. It's the oldest building actually on the temple grounds. And this is the front of Rama IV's residence. It's locked up now. They keep like the important Buddha images and stuff like that in here now, kind of as a little museum. And then they have some signage here talking about Rama IV when he was a monk here. And then you have the ground floor that's uh, cement and then the teak wood is up top. Now what's cool about this is with Rama IV, Rama V, you see so many buildings built in their era that are European style. I mean, check this out. It's, it's so amazing to see these. Now there is more to the temple. Back in here you have more buildings for like the monk quarters and stuff like that. Let's take one more look at the main hall. And there's really cool little garden and stuff like that all around here. We'll take one more look at the main hall and that'll be the last thing we look at here. Now you can see all these buildings here. More of the like wooden building over there and just various ones. These kind of look like the, the main temple building. This is the side of it here. Oh, I just really like the Kind of that beige color with the blue tiles and the naga and everything else. It's just an absolute perfect condition. And then you got the chetty over there. 
really a nice treat to come over here. That'll finish up our video over here at this second class royal temple. And again, I'll try the name here. Wat Rajadawi Waswiwari Han, something like that. It had an easier name to say before King Rama V changed the name. But anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this temple. This is really, really nice. Now, the reason I came over here today is because I was over at Wat Nawet, which is another uh, kind of a different type of temple that you will see. It looks like a French Gothic cathedral, and it's over in Bang Pa Inn. So I was thinking about this temple whenever I went over there and made that video. So I was like, oh, I haven't been to that one in a couple years. So I'll go over here and we'll see the mural paintings. And I'm really happy I did. I really like this temple. This place is so quiet. You'll come here, it'll be a few ties, but it's, there's no crowds. And it's a real shame because this is it's like a really peaceful setting and you get to see a lot of these old buildings and those murals are worth your time to come over here and see. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely smash the like button. If uh, you're new to the channel, subscribe, stick around. Or if you have any questions or comments, ask me down below. Or if you, knew, uh, if you know more about this temple than I do, or if I misspoke, I'm sorry, you can correct me down in the comments down below. But if you know more, tell me, and then also the other people that watch the video can see and learn a little bit more. But anyway, from over here in the Doucet area of Bangkok, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.